Are you ready to discover the hidden paradise of Lago Azul? What's up, unconventionalist? I'm Cassidy, and welcome back. Today we're embarking on a journey to Lago Azul, a freshwater lagoon in La Entrada, Dominican Republic. Get ready to discover the pristine beauty of this freshwater cenote and gather some practical travel tips along the way. If you're new here, my family and I have been living in the Dominican Republic for the past seven weeks while our kids attend a world schooling hub here. Don't forget to subscribe because we're documenting our entire experience living as expatriates here in the Dominican Republic. Now, let's dive in. Get it? Dive in? Yeah. Let me see, let me see. <laughs> what? You left weight in there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're ready. You're a little swimmer, aren't you? I was not even close. I was just floating. Located in La Entrada, less than 10 minutes from the town of Cabrera, this hidden gem boasts vibrant blue waters contrasting with lush green jungle and the limestone walls creating a truly breathtaking sight. Don't forget to pack your mask and snorkel. This is a great spot for free diving and snorkeling. The water is completely refreshing and invigorating. The entry fee for Lago Azul is 100 pesos or about two US dollars per person. And the kids were free. We parked our rental car in the parking lot and headed down the staircase when a sense of tranquility filled the air. This secluded freshwater lagoon offers an oasis from the bustling tourist spots around the island. When we visited, there was just one other group there and they left about halfway through our time, so that meant we had the entire lagoon to ourselves on a Saturday morning. The Dominican Republic has a tropical climate and to me the best time to visit is between December and March, the dry season, where you won't have too much rain and the temperatures are perfect for swimming. When you get to the area, you should organize your transportation to and from Lago Azul in advance. The area is very rural and not touristy. You will not be able to flag down a taxi or order an Uber after you're done swimming. So be sure, be sure to plan out transportation in advance. All right, go for it's, it. Daddy, look at the little that we saw when we were eating. It's still white there. It is still white there. We also suggest you stay in Cabrera just down the road from the lagoon rather than La Entrada because Cabrera offers more accommodation options and has some pristine beaches that are definitely worth checking out. <laughs> Lago Azul is one of the best hidden gems on Dominican Republic's North Shore. Be sure to get off the beaten path and head to Lago Azul for more relaxed and connected to nature type of experience. The untouched beauty is a great escape from the touristy parts of the island. That's it for today, Unconventionalists. I hope you found this video helpful. If you know anyone who's headed to the North Shore of the Dominican Republic soon, be sure to send them this video so they don't miss this hidden gem experience. There I'll go, he's going to the bottom. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe because in our next video, we're gonna talk all about what it's like to live as an expat in Cabrera, Dominican Republic. Probably five feet deep there. Until next time on Conventionalist, keep exploring life outside the box.